I'm Vicki Dorn. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. Two years after a Bardstown officer is killed in the line of duty, police continue to investigate the unsolved murder of Officer Jason Ellis. Friends and coworkers, meanwhile, are standing by the motto, Never Forget. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us now with more. Lauren? Vicki, in the 26 months since his murder, there have been dozens of events and fundraisers for Ellis's family and the community he so lovingly served. And organizers hope the latest event to be held this Saturday not only keeps his memory alive, but generates some much needed tips. Here is five or six of our classmates that came all the way from Ashland, Kentucky. But for the Police Academy's class of 2006, May 30th, 2013 was the most bittersweet of reunions. It's when Bardstown officer Jason Ellis, gunned down five days before on his way home, had been laid to rest. You see anywhere from 50 to 150 cars following each other. Uh, gives you goosebumps. Chief Deputy Raymond Pinaroa with the Nelson County Sheriff's Office yeah. was in that funeral procession and in Ellis's police academy class. Now, some 26 months later, that hurt has been replaced by frustration. It's two years plus, and we're like, why not how it usually works? Why not that piece of the puzzle that we need to get something going towards the right direction? We're still looking for answers and, and, and haven't got any. It's why for the third year, Matt Schrader with Joe Hill's Victory is organizing a poker run in Ellis's honor. The first year netted some $30,000 for Ellis's widow and children and drew over 300 bikers. This is just one parking lot and it, there were several. I mean, there was people everywhere for this. He hopes this year's event attracts not just bikers, but tips on a case that's grown cold. Everybody wants to see see someone brought to justice for something as horrible as this. Chief Deputy Raymond Pinaroa, meanwhile, says events like this will continue. But more importantly, so too will the search for a killer. The goal is never forget and until justice is served. And that's, that's the goal, never forget. This year, proceeds from the poker run will go to the FOP Old Kentucky Home Lodge 43, where Ellis had been a member. The lodge recently set up a scholarship in Ellis's name and says money raised will go toward that and community outreach programs. Now, registration starts this Saturday at 9:30 at Joe Hill's Victory, that's on South Salem Drive in Bardstown. It's just $25 to enter, $15 to ride. It gets underway at 11 a.m. again. That is this Saturday. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. The reward for information that could lead to an arrest in the Ellis case is now $185,000. If you have any information, email EllisCaseETips at KY.gov or call Kentucky State Police.